what is going on guys? Today I'm doing a review on the Yamaha YZFR125 2015 edition. So uh, let's kick this off by saying it is obviously a 125 four-stroke single cylinder motorcycle. This is very, very lovely bike. Full-size replica of the R6 and it's very, very nice. It's got the gold thingy jobs on it <laughs> but uh, still got stock exhaust on but uh, you can find this bike provided by Yamaha obviously for approximately 4400 no 4400 yeah 4400 pounds on the road with one year's tax L plates included but this bike just looks amazing this is the ABS version See blue wheels. This is the race blue edition. Stock exhaust still. Only three weeks old. No problem so far. Handles great. Top speed so far is 85 miles an hour. Pretty fast for a 125 four stroke, I may say. As you can see, blue suspension in the middle. Nice chain. Capacity of 18 litre tank, does not guzzle, does 99.9 .9 miles to the gallon. Crack on onto here, you've got your high beam, low beam, indicate left, indicate right, indicates off. Lights are always on, so there is no light switch. You've got your kill switch on, kill switch off, and then you've got your info light for the menu and the electric start. This is a TCI display, full digital. As you can see, there's a neutral light. Normally, I'll turn off and turn back on again so you can see you've got indicators, and medium, high beam, petrol, oil, ABS, neutral. And obviously, on the display, you can see you've got your average miles an hour, how hot the bike is, when it's, when it's nice and hot and ready to full throttle it, I would say is three bar. Got your petrol, the time, and your miles. Put your RPM and miles an hour there. And if you push the info button, you'll see you've got distance served, 33 miles. You've got your average miles to the gallon, which is 99.9. .9. You've got your CNs, I'm not too sure what that is. And your trip time, I've only just got on the bike, so it's six minutes. And then obviously again, your average speed. But the distance served is 33 miles since I've last had my service. Now obviously I'll start it up for you guys. Idle as well, as you can see. As I say, the lights are always on. That side is a normal light with a dash of the corner. Flick it to main beam. That one comes on with a flick of that corner, but that one's more brighter, obviously, than that one. Stock exhaust sounds great, in my personal opinion. Now obviously this bike is ABS, fuel injected. It is 11KW and the digital display is a TCI. But in my personal opinion, this bike is brilliant and well worth its money. Personally, I would recommend it to anyone. Insurance costs are very low depending on age and license and years riding. Um, currently I'm on one year's no claims, I'm 20 years old and I have a CBT. The insurance for a year for me is £600 in full or monthly repayments of £56. Now if you jump to your A2 license, this is only going by me. Uh, this is not a direct quote of what it would be for you. 
obviously me being 20 on an A2 license with one year's no claims will then bump my insurance down to £424 and a monthly repayment of £36 a month. So that's the over general review for you guys. I hope you did enjoy it and there'll be much more to come in the near future. And as for that, I shall see you guys later on. If you want to hear a full exhaust sound, check out my channel as there is a full stock, full rev um, video on this bike. But that's that guys, I shall see you all later on and have a great day.